Hi Toby, I've got your Unit 5 test here on the screen and I just wanted to go over a few corrections with you. The first question is fine. Um, you did a good job on that one. Uh, you could, if you wanted to add something to that, you could add your um, coordinates of your POI on the screen, but you don't have to, okay? Um, now, for question two, the first one by substitution, you did that correctly. That's just great. So that one's perfect. Um, the last two, you had a little bit of trouble. For part B, what you want to do there is actually subtract the two functions so that you can eliminate the 2y um, variable. If you take negative 2y minus negative 2y, then that becomes negative 2y plus 2y, which is 0. And that's what we're hoping to accomplish, is to make one of the uh, variables um, disappear or, or eliminate one of the variables. So what we needed to do here was subtract everything. So we should have negative 8x, and then you should have negative 24 and then you can go ahead and solve x equals 3 and then substitute in to find y. One of the ways for you to catch a mistake like that, because it's just a minor mistake, but it ends up costing you a ton of marks because everything's wrong after that. One of the ways to catch that is to do what we call a check at the end. Okay, If you check your answers at the end, you should find that if you put those values into both equations, that they're going to work in both equations. So in other words, if I put it into the first one, if I add these up, I should get minus 13. I'm not, though. I'm going to get minus 28 minus 7 more, so that's going to give me minus 35. That's not equal to minus 13, and that's what it says it should be equal to up here, so you know that the, you've made a mistake, okay? Now the same thing for C. Um, when you're doing your elimination here, when we compare the variables and the coefficients on the variables, we don't have a match. A match would mean, like just like over here, where we had the 2y and the 2y that were exactly alike, we don't have that situation for c. So we have to create that situation. And that's what those word problems, um, the communication questions we're referring to. How do you create an equivalent linear system? Well, one way that we can do that here would be if we were to multiply everything in the first equation by 5 and everything in the second equation by 2, now if you subtract those two equations, you'll end up with um, an elimination situation where you can solve or x, and in this case, x should be minus 2. Um, if x is minus 2, then y becomes 2, I believe. Okay, so, and again, if you had checked those answers that you ended up with at the end, um, you would find that you wouldn't get the left side of the equation equal to the right side with using those numbers. Uh, and so that would be um, a big, uh, you know, indication for you to go back and look t to see if you've made a mistake somewhere. If you get in the habit of doing things like that on your math tests, then you're going to catch these kinds of mistakes. And these kinds of questions, especially as you're moving up into um, higher level math, if it's worth three, three marks each, you know, say a test is out of, 30 and the questions out of 3, that's actually 10% right there. So you can raise your mark significantly by catching that. This happened on two different questions. That's 6 marks out of a possible, um, oh, I don't see the total here for the test, I don't have it in front of me, 27. So that's more than 20% of your mark right there on those two questions that you could have recovered if you had done your check and gone back and looked for mistakes like that. So it's a really good habit to get into.
I won't bother going over um, page two because page two is fine. So just to save time, we'll just skip right to page three here. And for page three, um, we had a little bit of a one of those um, funny things happen where you ended up with two numbers that seem to work because yes, indeed, three plus twenty six is twenty nine. Um, the problem is, if you go back and you double check that again, so um, exactly what we were talking about in the last section, if you go and you check your answer with what you were given, this question's worth five marks, so again, almost about 20% of your overall mark for one question here. If you reread the second line of your instructions, it says three years ago, Triple Susie's age plus Double Jack's age was 52. If Susie is three right now, then three years ago, unfortunately, she's zero. She's not born yet. And if we take three times zero, we're going to get zero. Um, and if we double Jack's age, we're going to get 52. <clears throat> so that didn't, you know, even though these, these answers satisfy the requirement that their combined age is 29, um, it didn't satisfy both requirements. And again, if you had gone back and checked that, double check that with both instructions in the question, then you would see uh, where you'd gone wrong. Where you went wrong, um, you did this correctly. The first equation was correct, but where you went wrong was you forgot to put in brackets because her age three years ago is S minus three. It's three less than S, which is her age now. His age three years ago is J minus three, three years less than what he is now. So if we take this equation and we expand it and simplify before we try to do some solving here, we get 3S minus nine plus 2J minus six equals 55. And here's a really good argument for why we shouldn't use S as a variable because it starts to look like a five so it probably would be better to make her an X or something a little more obvious. Now, if we solve this, we get 3S plus 2J equals, uh, I believe, 70 over here. 5J equals 70. So J uh, turns out to be 14. Then you can go back and figure out S at 15 and then you can test to see if it fits the second equation okay so we have two numbers that add up to 29 now if you take three away from those <clears throat> then three years ago they would be 11 and 12 and 3 times 11 is 33 2 times 12 is 24, 33 and 24 add up to 55. So um, the other thing that I want you to remember to do when you have a word problem is to um, make sure that, oh, you sorry, I missed it. I was going to say I wanted you to put a final statement, but you did. So you're fine there, um, Jack's age is. It was just that the statement itself wasn't correct. Oops, now I've really done it. Okay, time to quit.